Welcome to the Dr. Gill Show. I'm Dr. Gill. Please welcome our guest. Please introduce yourselves. Hello there, I'm Professor Ella. And I'm Professor Jenna. What is your dilemma? It's not a dilemma. We just want to share to the world that Shrek Sh is alive. How have, how have you come to this conclusion? We have proof, solid proof. We've brought these belongings of Shrek. Yes. Shrek's earwax candle and Shrek's diary. Also, we have things like Shrek's tears, Shrek's blood, and Shrek's acne cream. He was breaking out. How'd you get all these items? We found that them at an abandoned swamp. How do you know they're real? Well, we just know. We just feel it in our hearts that Shrek is alive and these are real. I see. I feel like you might be a little delusional, but this could be a possibility. There's no way on earth we are delusional and we know for proof that Shrek is real and Shrek's gonna get real mad at you. Yeah. Once he becomes ruler of the earth, he's going to make you his slave. How, 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 do you know if Shrek even wants to be found? Um, probably. There are so many fans. Like, for us, we, our profession is Shrekology. What is Shrekology? Shrekology is the study of Shrek. And we need to spread Shrekology so people can have careers, jobs, life in the study of Shrekology. I feel like you guys need therapy. <gasps> listen! No! no. Don't hurt her feelings. You now hurt listen, feelings. If, you, if you don't believe in Shrek, then you will die when he becomes ruler. Shrek is going to make you his slave. And you're gonna, you're gonna have to get therapy, no matter no. what. No! We're not gonna get therapy. We want to, listen, we wanted to spread to the world that Shrek is alive. And this is what you do to us? Yeah. You are rude, mister. Rude! Rude! I think we're going to have to send you to the ranch. <gasps> no! No! Rude! We have to continue our studies! You we have to continue our studies so Shrek can come. We can show him all of the Shrek movies to show him that he's a celebrity. Yeah! We're gonna, even going to try to get him a, a star. Okay, I see. But... You guys still have to go to the ranch. Please leave no. the stage. No! No! It's a trailer! We will be back! I'm sorry for that. Next patients, please come. Please introduce yourselves. Hey, my name's Simon. And I'm Jonathan. What is your dilemma? My son is addicted to his shoes. How is he addicted to his shoes? All I've done since he got them is admire them, like he is now. When did this start? I think it started when I was about five years old. When my, when my father bought me a pair of these awesome shoes for my birthday. And I didn't really have shoes. In my in my past years, because we were so poor, we didn't have a house. And we finally have one, and we're in debt. So now I'm in love with my shoes, and I should be, because I have something that's of my own. How, ha how has this affected your everyday life? It has been hard. Uh, his grades have dropped severely in school. He has been not, the teacher has constantly called us saying that he's not paying attention in class and that he's admiring his shoes. Okay, Simon, what did when you, did you get these shoes? I told you when I was five. Okay, I see. Hmm. I think you 
are addicted to your shoes. I am. Because, because of your longing for something to own. Is there anything else besides for shoes that you own? Not much, except for the shovel. Okay, are you hitting. attached to the shovel? No, I just use it for hitting my father. That is true. Ha has he ever lot. gotten violent over you taking away his shoes? Yes, every time I've tried to take, in, take his shoes away, he has hit me multiple times in the head with the shovel. Ha okay, have you, ever, have you ever tried to take it away? Yes, and he hit me in the head with the shovel. Have you ever tried throwing away the shovel? Uh, no, I have not. Okay, I see. Have you ever burned your, his shoes? I've tried, but he jumped in the fire. Okay. Uh, Simon, how long have you lasted without you even getting contact with your shoes? Let's see. I can last about, hold on, uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, I see. Yeah, I had to have them on. I even put them on beside me on the dinner table. Even though my father gets really, really mad at me and says that I'm doing something very nasty. Okay, I see. So, Simon, what what will happen if you if so, if your shoes get taken away? What do you think will happen? I'll do everything I can to murder that person. Why is that? Because my shoes are like my best friend. Okay. If they're your best friend, don't sometimes best friends part? Well, that's a human best friend, but there's an object best friend and a shoe best friend. And a shoe best friend never parts. And only part when it has to finish someone off, like attack someone. Oh, okay. I see. Have you, what happens if you get them dirty? Are you fine with that? No. I need to put them in the washing machine. No, I hate washing machines. I, I take a cloth and I wipe every tiny section. Get exact so my best friend is 100% spitty for the next day. Okay, I see. I think the only way to treat your son is to confiscate his shoes. If, if, but and if slowly, you... but surely, take away his shoes uh, slowly at a time. Like, take it away. Then give it back to him later and keep on doing that. I'm still go the here. And I have I the shovel in the car. <coughs> and I have I have a permit to send you to the ranch. Well, good luck with that. Okay. I see. Okay, I'm one of First, the top we need we need to get rid of we have to get rid of his shovel. That's a threat. I also have an I also have an axe at our house. Have this has him having shoes affected anything else? No. Okay, I see. Does 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 he ever get emotional over his shoes? Yes. One time he couldn't find them, and he was crying for about a day. So how long was he apart from it? About a day. A whole day? Okay, I see. So he can last a day without having his shoes. Barely. Barely. Okay. Have you ever taken it away for a day? Yeah, but he hit me with an axe. Where'd he get his axe? Uh, in the garage. In the garage? Okay. We chop down trees for a living. Okay. Do you ever think about keeping dangerous weapons away from him, like the shovel and the axe? We try, but he always manages to find them. Okay. And... What do, what is he planning? To, what are you planning, Simon? What are you planning to do in the future about your shoes? I plan on, on make being. I mean, uh, hold on, give me a second. Uh, I plan on wearing them everywhere I go. Everywhere? Yeah, everywhere. What if Even you go in the swimming pool. If I go out in there, I'll put them in my backpack. Okay, I see. I think the only way is to take away his shoes and send them to the ranch. If and you you'll take away my shoes, I'm going to go back to my house and get the axe. It's only a 20-minute drive but and a one-hour walk. Uh, uh, I once tried. It didn't go too well. Uh, uh. Okay, we're going to have to send you to the ranch, and you're going to only wear 
flip-flops with <gasps> no socks. Will you not speak of such thing? I know it's torture, but you'll have to do it. No, if I, no, 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 no. And you're going to have to walk here. bare Get feet. Me out of here. Get me out of here. You're going to have to wear no. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You are going okay. to the ranch, Simon. I said get me out of here. You are here. going to the ranch. I said get me out of here. That's all we have time for. Okay, please exit the stage. He never paid money for me to go to the ranch. Yay! Okay. Next, next patients, please come on. Whoa. Okay, please introduce yourselves. Hello there, my name is Mrs. Charleston. My name is legally Max, but you can call me Indiana Jones. What is your problem? Our prob no problem. Yes, it is. Our problem is, is that um, he thinks he's Indiana Jones. I am Indiana Jones. He, he knows he's Indiana Jones. Okay, so, so he thinks he's Indiana Jones, right? Yes. So, Max, when did this start? It started when I was about five years old, when I watched the first Indiana Jones movie. Have, are you attached to Indiana Jones in any way? Yes. Do you... Has this affected your life in any way? No. Has this affected your life? Yes. What's, what's happened? Well, he never goes to sleep. He is always outside. And once he broke into the neighbor's house and said they were criminals? I don't know. It just, I need this to stop. Okay, has he ever gotten violent over this obsession? Yes. What's okay. happened? Well, I went to the hospital three, for three months because he just wouldn't stop hitting me. Have you ever called the police on him? Yes. What happened with that? They ran away. Because of his lip? Yes. Does he use it as a weapon? Yes. How often? All day, every day, 24-7, 365. Have you, uh, what do you think Indiana Jones is? Well, I know that it's just a fictional character. Max, what do you think? He is me. He is you. Mm -hmm. But how do you describe him? He is a he is an explorer. Have you really, hmm? have you ever explored anything? Yes, one time I explored my mom's closet. Okay. Have you explored anything out of your reaches? No. What else do you think Indiana Jones is? I'm not sure. Okay, I see. If he's an explorer and you're not really an explorer. How do you think that matches up? I'm not sure. The only way you think Indiana Jones is him is because of the whip? I just feel it. I don't, like, why are you questioning me? I'm trying to help you. It does not feel like that. Okay. So, I would I would send you to the ranch, but you'll probably kill all the livestock and all the people there. So let me think. Hmm. I know. Okay. We could, we could, we could help you by selling you a rubber chicken. What? This, this rubber chicken can replace the, the belt. It's a whip on its own, but it's less deadly because it's a chicken. So we could do that. Or we could also, we could also take your belt and then we could lock it up in a safe. Never. And you'll never be able to get it. That would not be happening. What, what will happen if you stop being Indiana Jones for a day? I'm not sure. I can't comprehend that. Can you pretend not to be Indiana Jones? I can try. Do you think 
do you think it being Indiana Jones is normal? Uh, no. So do you think Indiana, so you think that Indiana Jones is a reincarnation of yourself? I think I'm a reincarnation of Indiana Jones. Why? How, how did he reincarnate into you? I just, when I watched the first movie, I just bonded with him. I just, I felt something. But he never interacted with you? No. So how would you bond with him? I just felt it. You just felt it? Yeah. Okay. How has this, uh, how has this, like, uh, affected you financially? Well, uh, well, a little, well, not, well, financially it's not too effective, but, but once he did break a window, that was a lot of money, and then he broke the sofa, and the oven, and my closet. You know what? Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a financial problem. Okay, so how, in, in, in other ways, how has this affected you? Well, he's not moving very much in school. Half of his class is homeschooled now because of him, and I get emails every day from parents and teachers. Has he ever acted out or become violent because of his Indiana Jones? Yes, very much. How, how, how did he become violent? Well, once, well, when it all started, when, well, near where it started, I told him that that's enough playing with the belt. Then I was in the hospital for six months. Okay, I see. So the only way is to lock up the belt and then send, send you to the ranch. So you can't harm anyone else. I refuse. I'm sorry. That's what we're going to have to do. OK, Out, outside, can you sign a waiver to let us take your son's belt? OK. Yes. That's oh, it for today. Mom, please. Please. I'm sorry. It's please leave so the stage. Good. No. Sorry. Please leave the stage. So. So, do you ever have a chicken and has too many feathers? Too many feathers? Well, I have the solution for you. Go to www.drgill.com and you can get you can send in your chicken through, via box, a uh, cardboard box. And instead, you can get a skin chicken. I don't know what you can do with this, but you can get a skin chicken. No more, no more feathers falling all over your house. So, make sure to go to www. Doctorgill. Dot com to buy your rubber chicken today. Okay. Next patients, please come. Please introduce yourselves. I am Mrs. Momo. I'm Michael. What is your problem? My son, I'm pretty sure, is addicted to ketchup. It's very, very sad. It is very sad. How is he addicted to ketchup? OK. It all started when he was about three years old. He, we went to a hot dog restaurant and he decided to try some ketchup because, hey, tomatoes are healthy for you. Well, he ate it and then suddenly he fell in love with the ketchup. He would only eat ketchup after that. He just ate ketchup. He started drinking it, eating it, mixing it with water to make ketchup water. He just only ate ketchup and he didn't have any other food. But I think that's fine because like ketchup has tomatoes and like tomatoes are healthy. So I think it's fine. But actually that's not true. They add a lot of sugar inside the ketchup. Yeah, no has, wonder he's hyper. Is he hyper a lot and acting up? 
24-7. He never sleeps, and all he does is run around the house throwing pillows at people and gobbling down ketchup. How has this affected you? Well, um, I'm getting very, very broke because he steals my credit card and buys more and more bottles and packets of ketchup. Okay, Michael, how much ketchup do you consume in one day? I bought a few couple, about uh, 30 bottles or so. 30 bottles of ketchup a day? Yeah. How long do you go without eating ketchup? Well, like five seconds. Five seconds, okay. Hmm. So, do you ever get tired of ketchup? I get tired of you. Okay, so the ketchup, so the ketchup, um, ha, are you attached to it emotionally? Yes, well, yeah, I am. I don't want to taste my ketchup. It has a squirt of mustard in their face because I hate mustard. Once, he accidentally got a cut on his arm and then he started licking the blood thinking that it was ketchup. Do you like eating blood? No! He does, that was... he does not like blood at all. He only likes ketchup. So you like everything red and liquidy? I like ketchup. He only likes ketchup. Uh. If it's red and liquidy, he might think it's ketchup, but then he eats it and throws up. So all he can eat is ketchup. Have you ever tried stopping him from eating ketchup? I've tried, but then he just started getting more and more hyper and started attacking. Okay, I see. We need to confiscate all this ketchup and send him to the ranch. That's all we have time for today. Please exit the stage. You're never confiscating my beautiful ketchup. I'm sorry, honey, but it's the best thing that we can you do. Are not oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, honey. <laughs> Next patient. Oh, don't lie to me. I was just cleaning my rooster rufus here with some shampoo. Shazy shampoo. The best shampoo that you can get for aging roosters. It cleans, it shines, it lushens the feathers. As we all know, Rufus is getting on in the years, and he's he needs a little something extra just to brighten up his day. Side effects include death, loss of feathers, advanced aging, and spinal trapecoitus. Just go to whatarethose.com and for five payments of $5, you can get some wonderful Shazy shampoo for Rufus. Please welcome our next patients. So, please introduce yourselves. Hello there, I am Ariana. And I'm Mrs. Pumpernickel. What is your problem? It's not a problem, but I know that I'm a dog. She thinks she's a dog. I know I'm a dog. Correction, she knows she's a dog. She thinks she is a dog. I know I'm a dog. She Which a dog. way do you think you're a dog? Well, I'm growing a tail. Are you sure that tail's not just a boa tied around your back and sticking out? No. Okay. So, what? When did you start knowing your dog? Well, it was ever since I got my best friend Peppers. I got her a pet dog, thinking that it could be her new best friend because it wasn't really working out that well at school. But then she. Grew became mentally attached to that dog. She became thinking that she was a dog. All she said she was dreaming about was dogs. How has this affected you? Well, it's a little bit annoying when the teachers call saying that she's bitten other classmates. And it's kind of, yeah. Has she ever got extremely violent? Um, somebody tried to steal her dog toy at school and then um, after that, he was in the hospital for six months, and then he had to do homeschooling. Okay, I see. 
So, I think, I think you need to stop letting her interact with the dog as much and tr try acting more human. Oh yeah, and another way to help her is you could give her chocolate, make her eat chocolate. And th to prove her that she's not a dog, she can eat chocolate because she is obviously a human with a boa tied around her waist. The thing is, she refuses to eat chocolate, saying that it's poison, and she says she's going to call Child Protective Services if I give her the poison. Okay, I see. You can shred the chocolate into a bowl, and you can you could tell her it's not chocolate because right I could here. mix it with dog food. Oh, but dogs won't un uh, but dogs won't remember this. Yeah, dogs have actually have a really short memory, honey. Yeah. Whoa. How would you remember that? Well, this dog has good memory. That is just a theory made by humans thinking that dogs are dumber than them. Okay, so, I see. We're going to have to send you to the ranch. But no, never! That's dogs all we have time for world. for today. Please <laughs> leave the stage. Thank you for your time. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Let's do the Dr. Gill!